Hey, good morning. I uh, just got the oil changed. If you guys are in Johnson City here, you got to go to this place that says Take 5. In and out, no time. You get to sit in your car, get to work. Uh, it's, it's nice, especially when it starts getting cold and, and snowy. So, speaking of that, this weekend is one of the main reasons why sometimes things get um, start slowing down in real estate. Um, yeah, people say the holidays, they get busy. And, and yeah, I get all that stuff. Sorry, I'm pulling into another place here. I get all that. But the other reason, the other main reason is because uh, when you, with the time change, um, the time change this weekend, I cannot stand it, by the way, uh, because I'd rather have more sunlight at nighttime uh, than in the morning. I don't really need it in the morning because I'm working anyway or, you know, basically just, uh, you know, doing some things anyway uh, before the sun comes up. But at nighttime, what happens, just think about this. When it gets, uh, people get off of work, uh, it's usually around 5, 5.30, 6 o'clock. It's already dark already. So it's very tough to see houses because people don't want to just see the inside, obviously. They want to see the neighborhood. They want to see, the, you know, the backyard and everything else. Yeah, they could see the pictures online, but you get the feel during the day. So a lot of times things get really cramped up over the weekend because then, you know, some people aren't working, obviously, so they can go and see the house during the day. So that really cuts off about an hour and a half at nighttime, all right? So when you look at the stats, just, just Google it, one of the main reasons why real estate sometimes slows down, when I say sometimes, because not all the time, but sometimes, uh, you know, it slows down because of the time change, because you lose that time at night where families are getting home, they're, they're, they're uh, you know, picking up kids from school, they're taking them to, to other activities for the kids, and before they, they look around, it, it's dark out already. So uh, I think, I'm pretty sure that Congress passed something where they won't have to change this next year, but we're talking about Congress here, so it's just about, you know, who knows if they're going to implement it. But that's a big reason why sometimes real estate slows down, because you lose that time at nighttime that people can get off of work and start searching for the house and, and so forth. So just keep that in mind. Uh, that means you just have to work twice as hard, three times as hard. So, um, but anyway, if you have any questions, any mortgage questions, just please let me know. Comment down below, shoot me a private message. You have a great day. We had a great event yesterday. It was, it was absolutely phenomenal. Uh, people who showed up, everybody loved it. Uh, everybody was really, really excited about it. Uh, and, you know, Deborah Burr just, just knocked, it, you know, knocked it out of ballpark with social media and so forth. So super excited to see how people are going to implement. And if you got any questions, just let us know. Talk to you soon. Once again, Greg Peckman, the Peckman team at Hancock Mortgage. Talk to you soon.